Hi guys, in this video I will share you a quick tip about how to create the main form button use the ribbon workbench. So firstly, um, for the ribbon workbench, um, actually there, there are two ways to, to use uh, the ribbon workbench. The first way is uh, we just use XML, uh, XRM toolbox. Uh, this is uh, it, it's a great platform. We can write all kinds of uh, software. So we can install the ribbon workbench here. The second way is we just install uh, the ribbon workbench uh, manager solution into your uh, environment. Uh, then create your then just yeah. I'll create the ribbon, ribbon, the new ribbon button, but I prefer the first way, uh, which is use the XRM toolbox. So okay, uh, let's get start. Um, firstly, first of all, we need to create a, a new solution. In this solution, you just uh, include the entity you you are working on, only the entity. I mean no view, no forms uh, are included. Just the, the, the form, oh no, sorry, just the, uh, the entity or just the table. So after that, uh, go to the ribbon workbench, click solution and choose your solution, open it, then you will see this page. So there are two, three sections. The first section for uh, this is for the main grid. All the buttons are main grid buttons. The second section is subgrid uh, buttons, and for the for the third section is for main form buttons. So, you know, in this video, we will create a new uh, main form button, right? We just drag and draw a uh, drag and drop uh, a button to anywhere we want. And next, we just uh, give it a label, give, give um, a label, and be, we can rename uh, the ID here. Make sure this ID is unique, right? It's globally unique. And the command, we just leave it, leave it alone here uh, for now. Maybe up later after we create the new command, so we can uh, po uh, populate this field then. Also for the out and this this out is just you know if your mouse put on you can see um, for now uh, uh, the text under uh, the little hand icon is the out right or the tool tips title the same just for for the remind so I just I just give I give it some description I just put the three. Uh, call the uh, rules uh, to the same uh, images uh, image 16 or 32 is, is you know is di different size I think um, just the uh, just the icon you no know, the icon here and more the image is same uh, so other uh, rules we just leave them alone uh, we don't touch them for now Okay, so maybe we can we can start from my uh, icon on uh, my, my uh, button I created previously. You can see uh, this button is I created. So I just give it a label with complete and ju just put the three uh, rules to the same. Uh, just give it a description, change the review status to complete. This is the purpose of this uh, button. Uh, image actually I just use a similar you know there, there has been a, an existing button it's a OOB button out of box button so I just follow <laughs> the same image uh, so yeah but you can choose different right and yeah as I mentioned we just leave this rules alone we just we don't touch them until we have created the command and display rules. So uh, next, we create a new command here. We just click uh, the plus icon here. 
so it, it will show up this will show up then we just rename the id just rename this part and of course you you, you can you can just use the default one and you can yeah you you, you need an, it, it's not a must to rename the id here uh, the library you have to you know actually there uh, for the action here so you have to add action the add action you know there are two options the first one uh, is url action the second one for javascript action the url is just for the web resource you know uh, the jump to, jump to some web resource but i just i will use the javascript action here because i will update uh, a fields value so i will use javascript action here um, if I choose JavaScript action, this part will show up. So then I will just choose the library, and library is for the JavaScript, right? And the function, the function is the JavaScript. Then I just give it, give this function uh, an input or inputs. We just click the parameter. The parameter is input. So there's several options on, on, on five uh, options here so for the CRM we just use the CRM parameter click the parameter so you will see so many uh, different uh, inputs here for but for the current main form uh, button we just you, you know we need the the main form context details right so we have to use the primary control you know we can get the context uh, context details from the uh, primary control we just use this one okay we just delete it use primary control and uh, then we just leave the rest part alone we don't touch them until we create the display rule the next is we just we click a new display rule click the, uh, the plus icon so in in the display rule uh, we will use the you know there's the, so many types of steps uh, so you can see so many we just you know we just focus on um we will uh what we will um uh, Actually, this button's visibility is just based on um, the field's value. So we just use the value rule. So if I click red value rule, so this window will show up, right? Uh, no, this section will show up. So we just choose. Actually, there are four options here uh, to show. Uh, if you want to know the details of all these four functions, uh, all four options so uh, i have put a link uh, in, in in the description of this video you can check it out in that post in that link uh, there there's a very detailed introduction of uh, the value rule okay for now we just set default to false the default uh, means if if this field uh, is not found or some error occurred it will choose this value false the false means you know this button will be invisible right invert result the invert result means if this uh, condition is met that means it's true will uh, the system invert the result that means for example if this condition is met if we choose the invert result to, to true so finally this rule will return false that means if this uh, condition is true finally it will return false because we just re invert the result but
But if we set the inverted result to false, that means it will not invert uh, the uh, the condition. That is that means the condition returns value is the final value. So here we just said the condition is if the field this field equals this value, if equal, that means it's true. The final return value is true because we we don't invert uh, this condition, right? Okay, so after we have created this display rule, we go back to the command. So in in this step, we just click add display rule and find the display rule we created previously. Then after that, we just go back to the button and choose command we have created, right? This one. Then publish. Okay, that's it. But before I finish this video, I want to share you uh, the library, the JavaScript, uh, which is triggered by this button. Uh, okay, you can see this the JavaScript is pretty simple. So this uh, the function is update record. It's very generic um, because you know in this function we can update any field of the current record. So it's pretty simple. Uh, we just set up uh, several uh, var variables uh, like the entity name, the record ID. The record ID you can see uh, it's the current record ID. As I mentioned, we can get the uh, the uh, the the main form context details from primary control. Right? You can use this uh, API to get the record ID. Okay. Uh, the next, just the, the data. Uh, you know, it's a structure. We just uh, set up the uh, the field and the uh, expected value here so that means later it will be this value will, this field will be changed to this value um, and, that, and just remember this is the logical name right the field logical name finally we just trigger the web API it's uh, XR, XRM web API to update the records record and uh, after the update finished successfully, we will do the final step is refresh the form because if you don't refresh, you, you will not see the latest value uh, until you click the refresh button manually. Yeah, but if we have this one, it will be refreshed automatically. Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Hopefully, uh, this tip will be useful for you uh, to create this uh, non-form button. Thank you.